The quality of relationship and the workplace will invariably impact on the desired productivity and outcome, especially for nation building. And this was a submission of Ndunete Ezurike, the convener of employee marketplace, buying and selling of Gen Z's, and building trust and leadership support in modern workplace held in Lagos. Plus TV correspondent Lovi Kukoyedokun tells us more in this report. Over 350 entrepreneurs are gathered at the maiden edition of this conference, convened by Adozilian Home and Realty. And family and friends have gathered to pay their last respects to one of Nigerians' producers, directors and actors, Vincent Dejumor Lewis, who was laid to rest. The event, which was held in Lagos, had popular filmmaker Tunde Kelani, a representative of Lagos State Government, among others, in attendance. We'll bring details in our subsequent bulletin. An Ox firm has organized a two-day participatory budget preparation and community development plan workshop for directors, secretary, and the chairman of the Michiko local government executive arm in Adamawa State. Details in this report. The training, which is in collaboration with Oxfam and the Nigerian government, is aimed at enhancing social cohesion through community development planning and monitoring and evaluation framework for the council development. A two-day participatory budget preparation and CDP project inclusion workshop. The purpose of the workshop is one, to strengthen the capacity of the local government administrative leadership, directors across all uh, departments in the local government around what participatory and inclusive governance is, and also to also build their capacity on how they can include the priority needs of the people of Michika local government into the 2024 budget, um, uh, particularly the capital projects that the, pro that the local government is going to be implementing. Um, it is part of a backdrop from the policy of the Adama State Government on citizens engagement and participatory planning uh, policy through which uh, as a development partner Oxfam is piloting in Michika uh, to gather the needs, the priority needs of the people of Michika local government. Project officer of Oxfam, Samuel Lashon, said the implementation of the project in Michika was due to the presence of citizen engagement and participatory planning policy, which was launched in June last year. It uh, was battered um, based on the need for us to engage with the leadership of Michika local government to support them in the development of their budget, that's the 2024 budget, and uh, see how they can include some of these priority needs that where the people of Michika identify during the many engagement that we had in the past, especially the community development planning sessions that we had with different stakeholders in the past. So that's why we are here. Executive Chairman Michika Council, Honorable Amos Drumby, who attended the workshop, affirmed the local government's commitment to implementing the plan. I is a pioneer local government selected for this exercise and I have enjoyed my people, the participant, the leader of the council, the councillors, directors, budgets and uh, all the community leaders represented by Khan, the Muslim council, they are all here. The essence is to give validation to what they have done. And I'm happy also that uh, they are not just building capacities of the local citizens, even civil servants. You can see there was also a representative of the state from Ministry of Planning and Budget. Some of the participants, including the council leader of Michika local government, Honorable Matthias Tumba, pledged commitment to implementing the plan. A golden opportunity to Michika rights because uh, budget has not been participatory in planning it. And this time around, we have developed it into a document that it is community-based need. And community took part in the preparation right from 
at uh, their uh, wood level. The Damawa State Government assured development partners of protection of every project executed through monitoring and evaluation technology known as Citizen Eye and Ear Project, which has been put in place. <laughs> Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.